Hi everybody, it's Barty Joyce back again with another vlog. This week's vlog, oh yeah, I'm going to talk to you about um, custom thumbnails today and the importance into actually doing a really nice pop of a, of a custom thumbnail. Um, what I've done, if you look through my channel, I've done so many now that I've had to actually just go to try and make each diff each um, thumbnail different to the one previous and to actually make it make it like really have their own sort of character have their own sort of um, personality with it and we and we use um, we use a thing called Photoshop on on the um, Apple book about my MacBook Pro and uh, yeah it's just like having like these different ideas like some of them we we've taken the um, surroundings out and had like a white background others we've blurred some We've um, got a background and that, but kept me in focus. We've had like really, I had a few few cheeky ones with me smiling and things like that. And so I think I think a couple of not I think it just had a little bit of writing on and things like that. But it's really important to do a really kick ass of a thumbnail, really, because if you to and, and to uh, try and see if you can make them um, make them clickable as well, because it could be you could be doing anything you want. That's your that, that your, that's your channels about but if you've got a really boom of a of a thumbnail people will hopefully click on click on it today we're going to be doing a, the a custom I haven't had a custom thumbnail on a couple of my um, videos but today we've done a custom thumbnail to um, my busking one so that, that's going to be obviously updated as soon as it's done which will be awesome so hopefully you'll find that really really much of a kick a really really boom if you if you like the, if you like the way i've done my um, thumbnails please let me know in the um, comments box below and if you've got any ideas for like oh i would have done this one in black and white or this one with a color or black and white with a color pop in things like that let me know in the comments box because i'd love to know we um we um looked at the we looked through the video and we checked and we um chose a section that we liked so we so we took a screenshot of that and then we um took out the background and then we made that we think we just made that plain white but obviously with um first time busking at princess hay in the back so it kind of look, we try to make it kind of look, look a bit like graffiti on the back like spray paint but yeah so that's uh hopefully that's a different sort of um thumbnail on the actual cut on the actual thumbnail itself we used the clothing that i was wearing and we used my guitar to have the different colors for um for the bubble writing side of things, so it's, so it's, so it's still got me in it with my my, my stuff that I was using that day. We, we saved the um, we saved the um, thumbnails as, as a JPEG, and then we um, uploaded it like straight away, and it looked really looks so much, but looks loads better now. Which which I hopefully will be a bit more clickable for other people who actually search Barty Joyce on YouTube. So I tried to make I've actually done a little bit of research on other people's channels, like to see how they do their thumbnails and that but I've tried to I've tried to make each one different of my ones and seen like how they've done like I I watch Matt Stoney and Fearest Pete and um, Nathan Figueroa like all these foodie ones and Wayne Algino his top guy is and um, yeah I've been um, trying to um, do not, not, not copy them but get some sort of idea for what for them from their channels to actually then put forward to my channel to see if it would actually be more of a boom for thumbnails and that so that's what I've, I've done a little bit of research by searching other people's thumbnails and that's what I've how I thought about doing my thumbnails as well that's it for this week's vlog cheers see you next time cheers